I'd like to see who has balls big enough to ask me to move. Well, well, well. 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 Honey, that is absurd. There is no such thing as a gay penguin. Well, well, well. Karen Walker and her Jewess. <laughs> Preposterous. Me, a homosexual. The very idea makes me howl with manly laughter. <laughs> Shrimp. Queer. Why, Beverly Leslie. Karen Walker. It just breaks my heart that you don't have a partner for the spotlight dance. However, will you lead it without a partner? <laughs> Such a pity a bottle of rum can't waltz. Pretty soon, everywhere you look, you're going to see pickled shrimp. Well, well, well. I walk in on a naked man, a man in his underpants, and a woman who needs to leave. Beverly, this isn't a good time. And I'm saying it could be. <laughs> if it isn't Karen Walker's little gay friend, where's your olive skin cohort? Don't you homosexuals always travel in pairs? Beverly, I'm sorry. They don't have Clay Aiken on the jukebox. Well, look how cute you two are. The black stallion and my little pony. <laughs> to cost your wife a pretty penny. You wouldn't believe the disgusting sexual perversions I had to perform to get that. <laughs> Hello, Karen. I thought Walker, Texas Ranger got canceled years ago because of old age. <laughs> and I nearly forgot to congratulate you on Toy Story 4. <laughs> Miss Adler, how dare you come into my home? and desecrate the day that I have set aside to celebrate my wife's death. Life. Life. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? Well, I hope your bow shows, because if that spotlight finds you all alone, my business associate, Benji, and I will be forced to laugh. <laughs> Roll back and forth on the floor and laugh and just clutch each other and roll and laugh. <laughs> Talk about business. <laughs> now, you know the plight of the homosexual is a cause dear to my wife, Crystal's heart. So I plan on taking her money and purchasing that dinner for me and my business associate, Benji. <laughs> well, well, well. Even at her own wedding, still sad and alone. Oh, Beverly Leslie, what a treat. I'm so glad I put you in the overhead compartment now. I am so sorry I missed the ceremony. But tell me this, darling, do they still say, till death do us part when the bride is a vampire? <laughs> I'm just having a drink here with my business associate, Benji. The only surprise is that you're still trying to pass off Benji as your business associate in the middle of a gay bar. This is a gay bar? Well, I had no idea. I'm a half a mind to storm out of here right this minute. But my other half wants to stay and finish my refreshing lemon draw. I must have died during surgery because the devil herself is before me. Leslie, I thought they'd torn down all the corroded old Confederate statues. You remember my business associate, Benji. What happened to the other Benji? Oh, something terrible happened to him. He got old. <laughs> You're a raging mo yourself, huh? <laughs> 
know what you're insinuating, but my precious wife, Crystal, would be here tonight, but I tragically lost grip on her wheelchair while maneuvering her down the 10,000 steps of Chichen Itza. I would like to propose a toast to my beautiful bride. You know, if you tell my wife I'm gonna deny this, but for me, Karen Walker will always be the one that got away. From what? Get out! Oh, settle down, woman. Look at y'all. I've never witnessed such inappropriate behavior. It's no wonder Karen's never invited you to her birthday party. What? This is the first time she's ever thrown herself a party. Oh my, have I been indiscreet? Cause I'd hate to be the one to tell you Karen's been having this party for 10 years. Really hate it. Really, 10 years, hate it. This is preposterous. What am I even being charged with? Fleeing the scene of a child's birthday cake. <laughs> Wall. Mr. Leslie, can you come with me? I will. There's no need for excessive force, and unless that's what you're into. <laughs> but poor you. Your husband, Stanley Walker, dumps you for a younger hoochie mama who serves soft potatoes. <laughs> he went from smashed to mashed. <laughs> oh, what can I say? She just prefers being around masculine energy. Let's leave your wife out of this. That's it, I'm gay. Does the hustler posing as your business associate know? He suspects. Karen, I need you to help me come out to my wife, Crystal. Tonight would be a good night to tell her, but it's her 90th birthday and I'm afraid the shock might kill her. Come to think of it, tonight might be the perfect night to tell her. It's amazing, my first time in a gay bar and I see my first gay bar five. Your first time? You rang the triangle. Well, I better skedaddle. Oh, by the way, I heard what that man said about Jack. You are a true gentleman. If anybody ever called my friend an idiot, I hope I'd be as brave as you. Thank you, Beverly. How about a gentleman's kiss? I'm not that brave. 